Hello and welcome to the show. Marianne Trump Barry is President Donald Trump's oldest sibling. She was born on April 5th, 1937. She spent much of her professional career behind the bench as a circuit court judge. Trump Barry is said to have a close relationship with her brother despite holding differing opinions on certain key issues vital to his presidency. Here's what you need to know. 1. The Trump family's alleged tax scheme investigated by the New York Times was unearthed because of a financial disclosure from Marianne Trump Barry had to fill out in 1999. Marianne Trump Barry was confirmed as a federal appellate judge in 1999 by the Senate. Part of that process involved filling out a financial disclosure form. New York Times reporter Susan Craig found the financial record which had not been redacted. The reporter noticed a $1 million contribution that seemed abnormal. The form indicated the money was from a company owned by the Trumps called All County Building Supply and Maintenance. The New York Times team investigated the company. The digging led to an explosive expose on how the Trump family allegedly avoided taxes. According to the investigation, All County Building Supply was created in order to move money from Fred Trump's companies and give it to his children. The process appears to have been very simple. As the Times explained, Fred Trump paid vendors and maintenance crews for improvements to his properties. Beginning in 1992, the name All County Building Supply and Maintenance started appearing on the checks that were sent out to pay the maintenance crews. The next step was for All County to send an invoice to Fred Trump's company to be reimbursed for the payments to the vendors. But those invoices were padded, marked up by 20% or 50% or even more, records show. The Trump siblings split the markup along with John Walter, Fred Trump's nephew, who was reportedly in charge of computerizing the payroll systems. This system would have allowed the Trump siblings to receive millions of dollars tax-free. President Trump was estimated to have received $413 million in current dollars from Fred Trump's company. You can read the full New York Times expose. Number two. Marianne Trump Barry, a Republican, was nominated to the circuit court by President Bill Clinton. Marianne Trump Barry was the first member of her family to graduate college, according to a bio on her alma mater's website. She studied political science and government at Mount Holyoke College in Massachusetts and graduated in 1958. She went on to earn a master's degree from Columbia University in 1962. She got married and became a mother, but she was not done with her education. When her son was in sixth grade, Trump Barry began law school at Hofstra University. She became a lawyer in 1974 and went to work for the Justice Department specifically in the office of the U.S. attorney in New Jersey. Out of 62 lawyers, Trump Barry was reportedly just one of two women. Her titles during that nine-year span included Assistant U.S. Attorney, Chief of the Appeals Division, and First Assistant U.S. Attorney. Trump Barry's next job was to move behind the bench. President Ronald Reagan made her a judge in the U.S. District Court for the District of New Jersey in 1983. She served on that court until 1999, when President Bill Clinton nominated her to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 3rd District. Trump Barry still holds the title of senior judge, but took an inactive status in 2017. Number three. Marianne Trump Barry's second husband, also a lawyer, worked for Donald Trump. A case involving Trump casinos ended up in Marianne's courtroom. Marianne Trump's first marriage was to David Desmond. They had one son together, David William Desmond. They divorced in 1980. Two years later, she tied the knot with fellow attorney John J. Barry. He apparently fit right in with the family because he worked alongside his brother-in-law, Donald Trump. Barry worked for the law firm Kimmelman, Wolf and Sampson and represented Donald Trump's New Jersey casinos. There was one case that thrust all three together, while Marianne Trump Barry was a judge on the U.S. District Court in New Jersey. Her brother's associate, Joseph Weishelboom, owned a company that flew high-paying customers to Donald Trump's New Jersey casinos via helicopter. Trump Barry herself had ridden on one of these helicopters, but this business relationship became very complicated when Weishelboom was convicted of drug trafficking. The case had been handled in Cincinnati, Ohio, but when it was time for sentencing, it was suddenly moved to New Jersey, to Marianne Trump Barry's courtroom in Newark. Judge Trump Barry recused herself from the case, citing the fact that she and her husband had flown on a Weishelboom helicopter. Weishelboom had been living in Trump Plaza in Manhattan at the time. 
Donald Trump allegedly wrote a letter to the court asking for leniency for racial boom and in recent years he has denied sending such a letter. In the end, racial boom was sentenced to three years in prison but served only 18 months. Marianne's husband, John Barry, died in 2000, reportedly from cancer. His obituary in the New York Times stated that he was a partner with the Tompkins, McGuire, Watchenfeld and Barry law firm, based in Newark, New Jersey, at the time of his death. The obit pointed out that Donald J. Trump had been among Barry's clients. It also stated that Barry had represented Eddie Antar, the electronics retail chain executive known as Crazy Eddie. Mr. Antar eventually pleaded guilty to racketeering after the chain had collapsed. He had disappeared and it had been determined that he had spirited millions of dollars to foreign countries. Barry and Marianne Trump had one daughter together, Barbara Coates. Number four. Marianne Trump Barry is said to be close with her brother, but she and Donald appear to have differing opinions when it comes to immigration. Marianne Trump Barry has pointed out that her relatives arrived in the United States as immigrants. Her mother, Mary McLeod, came from Scotland when she was 18 years old. Their paternal grandparents, Frederick and Elizabeth Trump, were from Germany. They all were able to come to the United States because they had relatives already living here, otherwise known as chain migration. That background appeared to have influenced Trump Barry's opinions as a federal judge. She was known for her compassion to the individuals specifically impacted by the immigration law. One example of this was the case of Malaki McAllister. In 1999, he was facing deportation back to Northern Ireland. He had left in the 1980s amid political turmoil and had asked for refuge in the United States. Trump Barry's court ultimately decided to allow authorities to deport McAllister, but her written opinion showed she was not thrilled with the decision. Real Clear Politics shared part of the opinion which reads as follows. I refuse to believe that give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free is now an empty entreaty. But if it is, shame on us. I cannot find a way to keep the McAllisters in this country and I have surely tried, Barry added. But the laws Congress has enacted, particularly those enacted in the wake of the September the 11th horror, are bulletproof, designed as they should be to combat terrorism. The problem here though is that Congress's definition of terrorist activity sweeps in not only the big guy, but also the little guy who poses no risk to anyone. It sweeps in Malachi McAllister. In a 2006 opinion, Trump Barry criticized a fellow judge for his treatment of immigrants that came into his court. The opinion included the following language. It is a hallmark of the American system of justice that anyone who appears as a litigant in an American courtroom is treated with dignity and respect. In a country built on the dreams and accomplishments of an immigrant population, a particularly severe wound is inflicted on that principle when an immigration matter is not conducted in accord with the best of our tradition of courtesy and fairness. Thank you.